Don't you embarrass us? Best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh oh I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. So long. There's a vampire looking night. My sight. You white one, look like you got soused last night too. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A ragdoll. Uh -huh. So there's a vampire hunting knights. It's love and peasant's blood. Our boys wanted to take some wenches for a roll in the hay, but the local shit pickers stood up to them. So they bound a few of the pumpkins together, then burned them alive in a barn. Let's go!
Come on, Roach. Hey there. Baron gets charged. He gets angry. Master. That's it, Roach. Twin to be back again. Fucking again. I've everything from up. 
What can I do with you for? If I ain't got it today, say the word and I'll have it tomorrow. Let me see. Might pick something. So long. Hey, free boy. What do I got to do to get a lovely panel like yours? Fuck. Long live, etc., etc. I feel like puking after that swill in the canteen. Long live except I'm looking for Tamara, the bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. looking for me and who might you be my father sent you yeah to see if you're still alive and well I'm Geralt of Rivia I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well Geralt of Rivia better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine and now that you've seen me I bid you farewell wait we've nothing more to talk about got every right to be angry at your father but he's worried about you I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before, especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? 
He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the charge. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seat. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire, and then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire, abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck.
it's not so different. She bring nourishment and toy one of us got a way to work. My man's got a not half bad. Brought in a packet of peanuts yesterday. Rifles, move it. Maybe I should send you a Want a chat? No, with me. Uh. I need to twirl him with hunger. Uh. You white one, look like you've got sous lot. <laughs> 